On today's adventure, I'm headed off-road to build a shelter completely wrapped in lights. It's a cold, windy, snowy winter night, but that isn't going to stop us from enjoying the views, making some tasty meals and sweet treats, and with an off-grid power supply, staying nice and toasty warm all night long with an electric heated blanket. So grab yourself some hot chocolate and let's have some fun. This is like the first actual snowy day today. We're bumping along a little bit on this little trail. I'm looking for a nice little spot so we can have a fun little adventure today. Oh. You can see my Jeep is just so full of everything we're gonna need for tonight. I feel like I always overpack. It's snowing a little bit, but it's not cold enough for the ground to be frozen, so everything's just like mud right now. I'm hoping up here we'll find a decent spot. It looks like we're starting to get deeper. Ooh, maybe there. Let me look a little more, but that might be a good spot. Some nice trees up there. Got another bump right here. I think it's low. Oh, oh my things. <laughs> this might be a decent spot to make the shelter, honestly. We're here. And I got on my suit because it's a cold day. We got some snow on the ground. Let's have some fun. See, it got a little bit muddy out here, <laughs> but it is pretty out here. And we have some nice space trees, which is what I'm going to use for today's build or little shelter thing. And I'm thinking of building it either between these couple trees and this tree, or this tree and this tree. There we go. Oh, yeah. I do love my Jeep, but honestly, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of storage room in here. But I mean, I really packed it to the brim full of everything. Oh, it got squished. So the plan today is I'm going to be using this massive translucent tarp to make myself a little shelter for the night. Step one, take some of this paracord. And I'm also going to be taking some of these carabiners. I'm not. This tree here, wrap it around the tree, and then I'm going to hook it in place with the carabiner. And I can take it over here. I'm going to take another little piece of rope or cord. Got two little loops. Clip it on one end, wrap it around it, and clip it on the other end. So we have a loop here. And for how I'm going to tension this line to this tree right here, I'm going to use this thing. And this is pretty cool. It's called a cam jam. I'm not sure if that's just like the brand name or something. It looks like a carabiner, except it has a hole in it. And you can feed your rope or cord through it. And then on the other side of it, there's this little kind of grippy tooth that's spring loaded. And then you feed the rope through it like this and it actually pinches and grabs the rope so now i can take it to the other carabiner i have wrapped around this tree and then when i go ahead and pull it is actually going to tension the rope between the two trees and now the fun part of taking this massive tarp and putting along the rope <laughs> there we go now I can take a bunch of these little kind of tent stakes and begin to pin this thing down to the ground. I'm going to stretch this thing out. A bit more snow is happening. All right, take this side. It just got like really dark out right now and started dropping these little kind of like ice balls. It almost looks like uh, like dipping dots or something like that. But now I'm gonna take these corners and I'm gonna sort of close them. I'm gonna try to close them with uh, two more stakes.
and you can see and it's kind of like a wall right there hopefully keep out some of the breeze and uh, some of the snow that's coming in I got two more stakes so I'm gonna just go ahead and stake down the opening in some sort of way and now we got ourselves a nice little area to hang out for the night but there's still one more major thing that we're missing some lights each of these spools claims to be over 100 feet. I don't remember how many LEDs there are. I bought six of these, so this is like 600 feet of them. I'm gonna have to take these and I'm gonna run them back and forth all over, <laughs> all over the shelter to make a winter wonderland at night. Let's have some fun. So the first thing is I'm gonna take these rolls and I'm gonna pass them underneath the tarp just so they're sticking out on the other side while keeping the power cords inside right here. Okay, you got all the rolls passed through the other side, and it begins. Roll that down, and then I come over here, back over, back and forth I go. The weather is kind of weird. It's been really bright and sunny, then it goes to like really dark and cloudy and really windy, then it makes these little like ice pellets, and then it was snowing, and now it's just windy. I don't know. It's a weird weather day. All right, doesn't look like much right now, but we got all of our lights on there. You're probably wondering, how am I gonna power all this stuff out here? Well, let me tell you, I did bring something else out here. I brought this big old thing. You might've seen this in some of my other videos or at least the components of it. And that is my massive battery and inverter. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this thing on. Close the thing on up just to keep it safe from all the elements. And now we have power coming out here. I don't know if you can see it glowing. But how are you going to get this power from here all the way out to there where I'm spending the night? Well, let me tell you. I brought a 100 foot extension cord that we're going to run from it. Undo the little Velcro. Plug in the power. And I should just be able to kind of walk it all the way inside of our little shelter and now we got some power in here but first things first i think it's time to set up our camp for the night it's a little bit uh, chaotic right now Nice. I also brought da, 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 an electric blanket. We're gonna be sleeping super warm tonight. And lucky for me, I actually remembered my pillow. I feel like half the time I forget a pillow, but this time I got it. So we got our power coming in. We got our horrible squid of all these little lights. And I also brought myself a little like power strip. So I think it's time to turn on our lights and see how they look. There we go. Now this is a crazy <laughs> looking thing. So now when I hit the switch, ooh, we got lights. <laughs> awesome. All right, I wanna go check it out outside. Once the sun goes down, this thing's gonna be looking pretty sweet. And I believe there's different modes. We'll kind of mess with them later. They're just these tiny little lights. Pretty cool, super efficient, and I'll be able to run these all night long off of uh, the big old battery in there. <laughs> pretty cool. Man, I don't know if you can hear that. It just sounds so windy out there. It's crazy, but it actually feels very still in here, which is nice, but it definitely sounds kind of creepy out there. Yeah, crazy. It might be like that all night long. It's a very weird day. The weather has been changing like crazy. It's been really sunny. It's been really dark, extremely windy. Got the sun poking out there a little bit now, but for now I'm pretty hungry. And you know what sounds good? Some curry, some coconut curry, some rice, some nice little pieces of tuna, and I got myself a nice little hot sauce as well. But how are we gonna cook this rice, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. 
a little tiny rice cooker. Yep, that's right. This time I brought myself a small little electric rice cooker. And just in case anyone's curious, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in this uh, watt meter just so we can keep an eye on how much power we're drawing. Okay, right now I have all of those lights plugged in. All of those lights are drawing 26 watts, so really not much for over 600 feet of lights. They are tiny, but really pretty efficient to be honest. So now we're gonna be plugging in our little rice cooker to make our dinner and we'll see what it brings up the total to but i got this really thick extension cord it claims to be 12 gauge so it definitely can handle 15 amps but i'm not even going to be drawing anything close to that dump in our rice some water a little stir then you just flip this switch and we're making some rice you can see we jumped up to right around 220 watts so this machine itself is like 200 and then these lights are pulling like 26 or something like that Feels good to relax. Everything is super muddy today. My boots, they're normally blue, but they look black right now. I think it takes around 25 minutes to cook a thing of rice. So maybe in about 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna probably start heating up the curry on that little like ISO stove right there, just a small one. I can see some snowfall out there. <laughs> I can see my lights all over the outside. And I don't know if you can hear the wind. The wind is very eerie sounding right now. And I probably have around a little over an hour left of uh, sunlight before it gets dark out here. Man, every once in a while that wind just comes and blasts this thing. <laughs> Crazy. You can see it's snowing a little bit. It's starting to build up some snow on here. Make a little snowball. <laughs> and on the inside of the tent, step on in. Got my little rice cooker there. And I'm excited to get a, a warm meal because it is a little bit chilly out here to be honest. Especially with that wind blowing. Definitely gonna have to close up uh, the tarp at night for sure. Ooh yeah, definitely starting to bubble bubble. But I think it's time to heat up our curry. There we go, got little fish pieces in there. I got my little stove right here. This is going to be a tasty dinner. It's definitely a cold day today. Finally feels like uh, winter camping. We've got snow coming down. I got my full suit on right now. It feels good. I do miss the snow. And you can see the rice just steaming away over there. Same with the pot. I think it's starting to warm up this area. It's very nice. And I'm definitely happy that I went with the extra heavy duty tarp because uh, every once in a while it just gets punched by the wind and the last thing I want is for those stakes to rip out and this tarp to just blow away and leave me exposed. That would be not fun. Bubble bubble. I definitely think that the curry and uh, the tuna is sufficiently heated. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the little stove. Just set it down on there. Cap it. All right, the little rice cooker clicked to warm, so that means we are ready to have our dinner. Let's scoop out some of this rice. Let's take a piece of this. Let's see how we can do this. That's looking really good. It smells amazing in here. Got my little rice and curry and tuna. Some of my hot sauce. Gotta love that spice. Gotta take a little bit of the rice, a little bit of the tuna, some of the curry. That hot sauce has some nice spice to it. This is really good. Mm. There's nothing like a hot meal in some cold weather camping. I always wondered if spice makes you feel warmer in winter. I think it does. Or maybe it just kind of makes you forget about the cold because your mouth is burning. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. The little rice maker made this rice perfect. This is my first time making rice on a little adventure like this. It is good. I'm excited for tonight when I'm just laying in bed relaxing and just being able to see all the lights kind of poking through the little tarp. I think it's going to be so cool. You can see there's a little bit of a snow coating out there. Must have been snowing when I was cooking my food. And let's go ahead and dump in the rest of that good stuff. Add a little bit more of that hot sauce. I feel so much warmer than just like 20 minutes ago. 
all of the lights came with their own little remote control so i think you can like change the colors of these to make them like a solid color maybe flash or dance around so that'd be kind of fun to play with that later and i'm curious if i'm gonna need my lantern i brought a lantern but i wonder if the lights themselves are going to be enough for me to kind of see how things are in here which would be kind of cool that was really good i feel so much warmer right now and that spice was so nice. That was an amazing meal. I think we have maybe a half hour of sunlight or so left. It's gonna be an interesting night spending it in here. And I got some other little treats planned. I'm feeling good, feeling nice and warm now. And yeah, I'm excited for the night. I think it's time to go poke around outside a little bit. Check out what's going on. Definitely looks like we got some fresh snowfall. It's actually snowing a little bit now. We got all this really nice fresh puffy snow just grabbing on everything because everything's so wet pretty. You can definitely see it's getting covered in some snow. There actually might be more snow than I expected today. It's not a bad thing. We got the lake. Very foggy looking. Got those tall little kind of grass roots. Very muddy. Any footprints down here? I don't think so. And then back behind us. We got our little shelter. Woo, it's cold. It is cold. That wind is brutal. Just takes it right out of you. You can see the little extension cord running all the way up to the Jeep. And I closed up the trunk on it and it's just kind of coming out to this little crevice right here just so it doesn't get all that snow inside of it. Woo, my hand is freezing. And inside here, nice and dry got my tarp floor and our delicious dinner now it's time to just relax a little bit the lights are really starting to poke out a little bit now as it's starting to get darker but right now i want to have myself a nice little warm cup of tea oh yeah ah, it smells good it smells nice and sweet cheers I love drinking tea, especially when it's nice and cold out. And it's an even more fun when you're in a crazy shelter like this. This is a very sweet tea. It tastes kind of like lemon bread. Feels good to hold something warm. Oh, I forgot I do have some hand warmers. I'll probably bust those out soon too. And I do think that the wind is supposed to slow down a little bit tonight, which will be nice because I don't have to worry about uh, the shelter just kind of blowing over. <laughs> That's definitely a concern, especially when there's giant blasts of wind every once in a while. Knock off some of the snow. I wonder how many lights there are. Probably a thousand. <laughs> That's awesome. I also got some chocolate. It was like a white chocolate orange. I forgot everything's so cold. They're so brittle of chocolate. Just like explodes when you bite it. It's definitely starting to get dark outside and the lights are really starting to show up. It's looking pretty cool and it feels very festive. Let's take a look outside. It is just cold and windy and snowy. And then you got this lighted up thing right here. This is pretty sweet. It's just such a comfy feeling in here. It's gonna be very interesting sleeping, just looking at all these lights when I'm trying to sleep. Ah, it's nice. It's still pretty crazy windy out there. Every once in a while it just blows everything sideways. So if it's starting to get darker, I wanna bust out these small little lights. These are just powered by a USB battery. I decided to take the string light and put them around this tree. But look at this. This is a festive shelter, if I say so myself. You just got darkness and then the lights. This thing is pretty sweet. And then when you step inside, it's actually pretty light in here. Like, I don't really need a lantern, which is cool. I mean, it is like hundreds of these lights. It feels like a fair or something, like a circus with these colors. This is such a pleasing shelter to look at. I think it's the prettiest one I've made. I'm really proud of all the ones I've made, but I think this one is just the most pleasing on my eyes. I love it. 
Even though I really like these string lights right here, I think I am going to have to take them off just because I don't want to leave this battery out in the wet. Yeah, I don't like that. So I think I am going to take down these string lights and find a place for them on the inside. I took all of the lights off the trees. Now I just have them and I kind of want to have some fun with them. This is just too much fun. Welcome to the winter wonderland. This is such a fun shelter. I can't get over how good the lights are. I was worried they wouldn't be like strong enough at night, but these things are awesome. I don't even need a lantern. These are just my, my main lights right now. But yeah, I think it's time to bust out the controllers and kind of see what these lights can do. It's gonna run through the settings. Yeah, flashing. Oh man, that's kind of a lot. We have another flashing. The flashing colors like a party in here. <laughs> I think my favorite has to be just this one. But this one is pretty fun too. It's just a little much. I don't think I could do this all day. <sighs> pretty cool. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to go ahead and check my percentage of the battery and I'm at 96%. So we only used 4% for having the lights on for a couple hours and then uh, cooking our rice dinner for like 25 minutes. I don't have to worry about the battery at all tonight. Nothing I have to worry about. I think in a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and close uh, the front door and stake it closed just to kind of make it a little bit more cozy in here. There we go. The door is closed for the night. Hopefully I don't have to go to the bathroom or anything like that. I can just kind of stay and hang out in here because this is super cozy and it keeps the wind out. It's still really windy and howling out there. But I mean, just look at this view. This is so strange, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> Do you know what would go really well with these lights right now? Yep, that's what I'm thinking too. Some delicious baked cookies. Yep, that's right. We're gonna bake some cookies out here. But I bet you're wondering how we're gonna bake these cookies with this little tiny toaster oven. Yep, that's right. I brought a little toaster oven out here and we're gonna make some cookies on it. I guess for round one, I'm just gonna toss one of these things in there, turn it to three and uh, see what happens. By the way, our watt meter is at uh, like 550 right now. The toaster oven's rated for like 500 watts. See that it's starting to glow a little bit in there. A little bit of smoke is coming out. Last time that meant they were burning, but I don't think this is burning. Just trying to bake some cookies in my little lighted up shelter. <laughs> this thing is crazy. There's actually quite a bit of snow on this. I think that's it. Take two. Let's see what we can do making some little cookies and it's like a little space here too it feels nice oh yeah that looks pretty good i think we should try this one it's a little soft in some spots and a little crispy in others <laughs> not bad it's just like a sweet sugar cookie kind of like what you'd expect there's so many of them <laughs> i wish there was only like five Yeah, that one looks pretty good. While I'm baking some more cookies, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a cup of some hot chocolate. It's so sweet. Uh, and I got my cookie, <laughs> the little elf hat. This one is way better dunk it in a little bit for fun. This is fantastic. Bing! It's cold, you can see my breath. I guess it's still snowing outside because it just keeps building up on the outside. 
just a few days ago it wasn't supposed to snow today but it actually snowed quite a bit today like it actually stuck on the ground which i'm happy about because it makes this shelter feel like a winter wonderland and i'm loving it and these cookies are turning out pretty well honestly a little bit burnt this one maybe a more than a little bit <laughs> that one's kind of burnt a lot this is such a fun day I wonder if there's any animals out there that have just seen this and just like, like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, this shelter is pretty awesome and it's a lot roomier than I thought. And it's very cozy and I love the lights. <laughs> it's like I'm inside of a display or something like that. It's just so colorful. I honestly don't feel as cold as I think I would feel if the lights weren't on. I don't know, the lights just make me smile. I'm definitely excited to crawl in my sleeping bag later with that electric blanket because I'm starting to get cold again from just sitting here. Speaking of being a little cold, I do have some hand warmers. I think I'm going to bust these out. Ding. I think I'm gonna bake one more cookie and then just put the rest in uh, the fridge which is really just behind the bed because it's so cold out. The last cookie for tonight. That wind is just so loud out there. What a wonderful treat. I think it's time to get comfy and get in the sleeping bag and turn on that heated blanket because it is cold. <laughs> I am cold. All right, getting comfy for bed and I got these. These are like camping booties, sleeping booties. They're like insulated socks or slippers. And what I'm gonna do is take some hand warmers or I guess feet warmers right now, put them inside of it. There we go. Now I'm going to have some nice toasty feet because usually my feet get cold on these adventures. Alright, I'm in my sleeping bag. Time to turn on my heated blanket and send it way up to Max because it is cold and I'd rather wake up too hot than too cold. I have it in here underneath my back and the heat's just going to go through my body and warm me up all night long. The last time I used it, it felt amazing and I'm sure today's gonna feel amazing as well. Honestly, right now it feels like I'm in a fun house or something, the colors are fantastic. I feel like a clown is just gonna be out there. Not a creepy one, just like a fun house one. I'm starting to warm up in my little sleeping bag. I can definitely feel the heated blanket warming up through my back and it feels fantastic. Having the heated blanket in winter camping is a game changer. I think whenever I have the battery and inverter, I'm just always going to have the heated blanket with me if it's cold out. And in case you're wondering, the battery that I'm using, it's a 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So it is a massive battery. That's why I'm able to run like big appliances and stuff like this off of it and not really have to worry about like uh, using up all my energy. And I'm using an 800 watt inverter as well. The blanket is using uh, 140 watts. I can definitely still hear the wind out there kind of running around and roaring around. Hopefully it starts to die down a little bit because I just don't want it to be windy all night long. The paracord is holding up beautifully right now. It's supposedly rated for like a thousand pounds, but honestly, I doubt it. <laughs> but I mean, as long as it can hold like a hundred pounds, I'm pretty sure it's more than enough for what I'm doing today. I just didn't want it to break or anything. Just being held up by one piece of cord, a couple like uh, nails in the sides of the tarp, and then a bunch of Christmas lights or holiday lights, like 700 feet of them or something. I think each roll was like 130 feet or something like that. Yeah, and I got six of them. However many lights it is, this thing is just so cool. Yep, I brought the steam deck again. Or should I say the ice deck? This thing is absolutely frigid. I brought my older one, <laughs> so we'll see if it dies. Feels like honestly a block of ice. This thing is so cold. Hey, it worked, it turned on. Secret room.
I am tired. I can hear little snow, like hard icy snow landing on the tarp. But it's been a wonderful day. Driving out here through some of the mud was a blast. Uh, had some wonderful dinner, had some delicious little baked cookies, some elf cookie treats, which turned out pretty nice. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm ready to just completely seal myself in. <sighs> in my sleeping bag with my heated blanket and then just enjoy a wonderful winter night in this winter wonderland shelter i mean come on this is so cool anyways get some good sleep and i'll see y'all in the morning There's like ice <laughs> inside the tarp. Oh, it was nice and warm in the sleeping bag all night long though. But man, when I stick my head and hands out, it's cold outside. Ah. Good morning. My heated blanket is still on and it feels really nice inside of the sleeping bag but it is so cold outside of it even putting on my glasses feels like i put ice cubes around my eyes it's morning we made it through the night we have our light still on i just slept all right last night around halfway through the night i noticed that my air mattress completely deflated so it's just flat right now a little bit bummed i guess my air mattress must have a pinhole or something like that or maybe i didn't cap it fully so uh, <laughs> I slept on a flat air mattress. Yeah, I think it's time to get up, clean up camp a little bit, and make ourselves some delicious warm breakfast on this chilly morning. At least the wind died down. It's really calm out right now. There was definitely a few points at night where the shelter kind of ballooned up because of some huge gusts, and it woke me up, and it definitely made me worried that the nails or the stakes were going to come out of the ground. But hey, it held up, and the lights are still on. We still got power, and we're going to be using that power to make our breakfast. And for breakfast, we're having... Da -da -da -da. We're making some waffles. That's right. I brought myself my little waffle maker and some waffle mix and then this is my olive oil and it's super frozen right now So uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to deal with that and I can tell I got my little waffle iron here I'm gonna just go ahead and set my little canister of oil on top of it. Maybe it's gonna melt that way I like to keep my water in a container like this just so at night if it's below freezing, it's not gonna freeze definitely a cold morning today. I still got my little heated blanket on. I'm just going to throw it over my legs. <laughs> Feels nice. All right, got some waffle mix. Let's make some waffles. So my oil melted a little bit. All right. The machine's starting to smoke. My boots are like frozen, honestly. <laughs> they were like wet from the mud and they just froze overnight. <laughs> Not excited to put those on. Da, 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 da. Would you look at this? Ooh, a nice waffle. Add a little bit more oil. Since it's like freezing out, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat these as they come just to warm myself up a bit. Mm, that's good. Hot breakfast is everything. I'm curious when I walk around outside to see if any of those uh, stakes got lifted up a little bit because of the crazy winds last night. Very good. <laughs> Looks like it's stuck on the top. If only I brought some honey. Lego my ego. There we go. Warm breakfast on a cold morning is amazing. And I got my heated blanket on my lap and these like fuzzy slipper things on. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm just finishing up my warm, fresh baked waffle breakfast. Just hot steaming waffles on a freezing morning. It's cold out right now. I think it's like 25 something like that degrees Fahrenheit. Definitely below freezing. 
I had a lot of fun on this adventure and I hope you enjoyed it with me as well. And this was just something that I always wanted to do. I honestly think this is my favorite looking shelter that I've ever made. Just having all these lights on it at night, just walking around it and checking it out just looked fantastic. And even when I was like just relaxing and playing some games and just laying down and just looking at the tent itself, seeing all the colored lights was just so cool. It just made me smile. It felt like I was in a circus or something like that. The last bite of waffle. Um, Mm -hmm. It is time to venture into the outside and to put on these poor frozen boots. Man, these things <laughs> need to be clean. They need to wash them when I get home. All right, I got my frozen boots on. I think it is time to venture out into the world. I kind of locked myself in here in the night, so I gotta lift up. Pretty, you got the sun poking out over there. Ooh, it's cold. Wow, there's actually quite a bit of snow buildup. I'm curious if there's any visible animal tracks around. I kinda doubt it. No, it doesn't look like it. It's pretty though. It's a lot calmer than it was yesterday. And I'm definitely happy that the can jam held up. The tooth didn't slip or anything like that. And otherwise I would have woken up with the tarp slapping on my face. <laughs> The leaves are kind of crispy, everything's kind of more frozen over. Yesterday when I was driving through here, it was all muddy and squishy. Today it's probably going to be more solid. I think it's time to head on inside and begin to clean up camp. Hands are cold! My sad, deflated, <laughs> sleeping pad. At least I have a good sleeping bag. In you go. Let me just take a moment to admire this sunrise right now. It's so bright. Look at that. What a beautiful morning. This is probably one of the last few times for the lake to be thawed this year. It's going to start freezing real soon. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. That sun is so bright and it feels actually nice and warm on my face. I can barely keep my eyes open by it. It's so bright. It's funny, whenever I'm around really bright lights, mostly the sun or just other things, it makes me want to sneeze and sometimes I do sneeze. It's interesting. <laughs> That's beautiful. I really like that. Let's get back to packing up camp. All right, got most everything packed up in the Jeep. The only thing that I'm really worried about is the tarp because there's no way I'm gonna be able to fold it down to the size that it was and I don't have that much room left in the Jeep so I'm gonna have to work some magic. I'm gonna pull up all these stakes as well. I came with eight of these things so I'm not leaving unless I have eight of them. Oh it's so cold on my fingers. Alrighty, at least I know that he's holding the ground pretty well, even in pretty strong winds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the stakes. I think the easiest way to get these lights is just to kind of sweep them. And I'm going to be honest with you, untangling these are going to be a problem for me when I'm inside and it's warm. This is about as small as I'm going to get this thing. Got the campsite all cleaned up. Got the sun over there. Becoming a beautiful morning. Feels nice and warm on my face. But with everything clean, it's time to head on back home.
icy morning. Well, it's been a wonderful adventure. Whoa! I really hope you enjoyed it with me. It was a lot of fun. And I just want to say thanks for stopping by, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Or you just had fun on the journey with me. Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next one.